Hello everyone, I'm Ella and today we are going to talk about SOT in BIM. I know it might sound technical, but trust me, I will break it down for you and I will explain it as simple as possible. Make sure to watch until the end of this video to get clear understanding of this topic and also to get what I promised. Let's go! As you know, BIM is relatively new and it is constantly evolving. So there are a lot of terms and regulation, which honestly could be sometimes confusing. I will briefly explain some of these essential terms before diving deeper into the main topic. Starting with BIM itself, building information modeling is a digital modeling process, not a software, that can help architect, construction professionals, and MEP engineers to create a detailed representation of the building. It's simply a virtual version of the building before it is actually built. It helps with better planning, coordination, communication among these parties, funding clashes, and so on. In each BIM project, we have three main disciplines, architecture, structure, and MEP. Architects design the building's appearance and function. They use BIM to coordinate with different disciplines to make sure their design is implemented correctly and accurately. Structural engineers focus on building's strengths and safety. BIM can help them to simulate different scenarios on structural components like the foundation, the combs, the beams, to make sure that they withstand different forces. MEP engineers take care of the systems that makes building comfortable and functional. They use BIM to plan routing of heating systems, cooling systems, electrical systems within the building. It can help them coordinate all of these systems efficiently, minimizing clashes and making sure everything is working together smoothly. Our next term is BEP. Let me explain it this way. Imagine you want to have a road trip with your friends and you want to make sure everything is working perfectly. So you wouldn't just jump into the car and drive randomly, right? You need a plan to guide you. In construction world, a BEP is exactly like that road trip plan but for building projects. It is a document with all of the necessary steps, details, and information to make sure a building is successfully complete. It is a guide for everyone involved in the project to make sure everything is working correctly, on time, and efficiently. In each BIM project, there are a lot of details and information. Just imagine, for example, we have three to five people for each of those different disciplines that I explained before. How they should complete their tasks for different parts of this building. How they should communicate together. All of these should be in BEP. BIM execution plan has all of the project's objective, timeline, budgets, rules, responsibilities, communication protocols, LODs, and things like this. A perfect BEP can help construction team avoid mistakes, overruns, delays, and it can help everyone to stay organized and accountable for their tasks. Now, one of the most important parts in each BEP is LOD. In here, we have similar terms like LOI, level of information means non-graphical information, LOIN, level of information needed, LOA, level of accuracy, LOD with a small d, level of detail, and with capital D, like level of development, and all of these are kind of different. LOD could be level of detail or level of development. Actually, level of development is kind of the reliable output and the level of detail is input, is the details that we add to different components inside the project. Now that we reached to the main part, before any explanation, please make sure to like and subscribe if this was helpful for you until now. Now, what is level of detail? Level of detail is different levels of detail that should be assigned to different components to different families objects inside the model. It can help everyone to have better understanding of the details that should be represented on the model. Typically, LOD is divided into five 
sometimes six, maybe seven stages, but usually it's from LOD 100 to LOD 500. LOD 100 is the most basic level. It's just a concept of different element. We usually use the geometric shape like cubes, cylinders to show the appearance, simply like this. If I want to give an example, for example, let's say a window, if I want to show a window in this room, I can just simply say that we need to have a window on this wall. Or we can just say that we're going to have two entrances in this room. Simple like this. Or if we want to show it in Revit, for example, we can just show it with a few dashed lines on a wall. This was LOD 100. If we want to add more detail, more information, we need to move on to LOD 200. For example, in this part, we might have approximate dimensions. We might have basic textures. If I want to give an example on the window, I can say that we might have the width, the height. Maybe we can say that this window is wooden. It has wooden frames or metal frames, simply like this. If I want to give an example on a structural elements, for example, for a beam, this level could answer questions like how long this beam could be or uh, things like how many bricks we need for this wall. Moving on to the next level, LOD 300. This level is ideal level for most of the project. In this level, the model is highly detailed. We can use it for finding potential clashes and conflicts. We have like accurate kind of accurate form of the building of the elements for example if i want to give an example on that window i can say that we can see accurate dimensions we can see if it has any unique shape maybe some fillets if it has any or maybe it has handles for structural components for example if we have a concrete column we can see the number of rebars you can see the shape of them, the size of them. If it's a steel comb, you can see maybe the plates, maybe if they have any bolts or things like this. Next level is LOD 350 or 400. They have a little difference, but I'm going to ignore the LOD 350 and let's say our next level is 400. In this level, we have a highly detailed model that we can use for actually building the building. Contractors can use this model to have accurate, precise documentation. They can make informed decisions about construction and also they can use it for bidding. LOD 400 on that window example is like to have all of the insider profiles, maybe all of the grips, the thickness of all of the glazing and small details like this. For structural components, again on that concrete column for example, we can have the exact shape of those rebars, exact shape of the plate if it's a steel, we can have the bolts, the shape of bolts, the holes, the welds and all of these really highly important details that we can use to actually build those elements for that project. Finally, the last level, LOD 500. This level focuses on the real-world performance and the management of the building. Basically, LOD 500 is to make sure that we can take care of the building easily and we can keep it functioning well for years to come. You see how valuable LOD is in BIM projects? If you want to learn more on this topic, I suggest to go check BIM forum. I will see if I can add a link in description. Now to all of you who always supported me until now, there's a link in description below where you can download more than 20 parametric, highly detailed families. We have this window that we talked about, we have the chair, we have patterns, we have doors and things like this. I selected them carefully so I hope you really like and enjoy them. I believe one whole week of recording is enough for this 10 minute video so I will see you in the next one. Bye!